Alright guys, so after several attempts of trying to start the bike, it just will not start. I haven't cleaned the carbs yet, so what we're gonna do is take out the carbs, clean out the jets, go through it really quick. I'm not gonna make any adjustments or do anything like that, just a quick clean. And then we'll put it back in the bike and try and start it again. Anyway, uh, let's get to it. All right, so I got the carbs out, and what we're gonna do is just take off the bottoms of the carbs, and we're gonna check the jets and just take them out, clean them up pretty quick. All right, so I mean, for sitting for 10 years, it doesn't look that bad. So the smaller jet in the back here, uh, I believe that's the pilot circuit, and that's for starting the bike and idling and then this one is for your higher RPMs. So we're gonna take out the pilot jet first and see how bad it is and just clean it out either way. So I got the pilot jet out and I'm trying to look through it and I literally can't even see any light through it. Like I can see the smallest pinhole. All right, so I just got some carb cleaner from Canadian Tire and we're just gonna use that to spray out the, uh, the pilot. All right, so I put the pilot jet back in, so that's good to go, nice and clean. Taking the main jet out now. That also looks pretty clean, like you can see right through that, no problem, so. All right, so I'm gonna continue with taking the rest of these off, checking all the pilot uh, jets and main jets. I'm just kind of having a look in there, so I'll just get that done quick. Every single one of them was like, I could barely, it's like it got progressively worse towards this side, because this one, was so bad I couldn't even see any light through it, period. These two were like a little tiny bit, but as soon as I blew it out with the carb cleaner and some compressed air, it was like perfect. Same with this one. Like it might actually start now when we put this back in. So we're not gonna do a full clean. This is all I wanna do because we just wanna get the bike started. I don't need it to run perfect or anything like that. Later on in the build, we'll actually rip this whole thing apart and rebuild everything that we can on this and make it look brand new and work like brand new. So for now, I'm just gonna put the covers back on and we'll put this back in the bike. <laughs> All right guys, so I got everything hooked up. We're gonna try and start the bike again and see what happens. Let's get a better look at this. This thing hasn't run in over 10 years. And now it runs. After weeks and weeks and weeks, non-stop effort, it finally, finally runs. All right, so it runs. 
The GoPro died as soon as I shut off the engine, so I had to let it charge and everything, but yeah, so obviously cleaning out the carbs actually worked. The thing runs every single time now. Uh, I actually can't even believe it. Like, I just honestly thought this thing was never gonna run with how much bullshit I had to do to get this thing going. Like, like the amount of frustration and effort that went into this, like even behind the scenes that you guys don't see, like it was just, it was just crazy. So I deserve a beer for sure. And it's not just any beer, it's the last beer. And uh, normally I drink Budweiser. Oh, there's another beer, lucky. Normally I drink Budweiser, but we had a party the other weekend and uh, so we got all cleared out. Fuck yeah. All right, so obviously at this point now, we're probably, I'm gonna tweak some things on the bike, make sure it runs like for sustained amounts of time and everything. All right, guys, well, follow on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of that stuff. Way more up to date on there. Way easier to post pictures rather than editing and uploading videos, so go check that out. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one and we'll start actually tearing down this bike.